Hey honey bunches, today we're veganizing three of my childhood favorite recipes. Uh, hopefully this shows you that you can really veganize anything and there's so many new products out there that can make you create even the simplest of bizarre meals, including the first one which is fish fingers, creamy mash and honey veggies. And while we didn't have this much, my brother and I were always like nagging to have fish fingers, I don't know. we probably love them um, because they're crunchy sort of fried thingies. So to make the mash to start off with um, we're gonna peel some potatoes um, and chop off all the gnarly bits, not that there's that many, and you can make mash however you like of course. Um, but yes this is how we made it. Now I've never had any issues um, with pouring boiling water over potatoes and cooking them uh, like on the heat in that method as opposed to using cold water um, I think that's like I don't know you're just overcomplicating it. it doesn't make have any effect on the on the potatoes when they boil at all um, these fish fingers are from like, the corn brand and if you're in Australia they're available at Woolies no they're available at Coles sorry um, hopefully in more places soon if you want to try them for the honey veggies I'm just boiling some frozen mixed vegetables and then Instead of using honey, I'm going to use rice malt syrup, just about a teaspoon, and mix that through. I uh, probably liked honey carrots and veggies when I was, I was little because they were sweet. I don't know, but I always nagged my parents to put honey on, on boiled veggies. Just a weird thing, I suppose, looking back. Um, to finish off the mash, just use a little bit of vegan butter, the Nutalex variety, and a little bit of unsweetened almond milk. Just don't add too much at a time because so many times I've just been too keen with the um, unsweetened plant milk and gone right in there. And then you have really sloppy uh, mash that you can sort of taste the plant milk in, which is a little bit sad. I also added salt and pepper and a pinch of nutmeg to make it extra homey. And that's all the components, I think. Um, Yes, it was very bizarre eating that um, after making this video, but it tasted exactly how I remembered it. The second thing is corn fritters, and we had these all the time, sometimes just plain corn and onion in these eggy type savory fritters or with corned beef um, or with parsley. But this is a pretty simple version that I experimented with using the All Grand Vegan Egg, which is a new product um, in there's the follow your heart vegan egg this is actually I think a better product than that I'll put the full recipe of um, the amounts and everything on the blog but yeah I I'm excited we've got an Australian brand of vegan egg woohoo hey um, I also added some polenta to add some more corny flavor some plain flour but you also want to add some baking paper to sort of aerate it a bit I used fresh corn but you could easily use tin corn and then salt and pepper and some more moisture to bring it together into a savory eggy batter and if you haven't made my vegan okonomiyaki that also uses a vegan egg type of product and I've got to say it's a pretty good substitute you can't really tell the difference so I also added in some onion and then fried these babies off and look they were like the easiest thing to fry off there was no resistance they cooked pretty quickly they developed a nice golden brown um, finish and they were super delicious and tasted very corny very flavorful and very like the original in my opinion um, the last one is just a comfort food I used to have when I was little and that was mashed potato with grated cheese on top so I just took the mashed potato that we had made earlier um, and added some grated cheese on top I don't know why this was a thing but I definitely had it a lot of times when I was like anxious and wasn't really hungry, had like an anxious tummy when I was younger. Um, I mean I should make it more so these days because that hasn't necessarily all gone away. But yes, it's it sort of fills you up I suppose, it tastes delicious, it's not like super pungent um, in, I don't know, in any direction, it's not really salty whatever those flavors that generally make you feel worse after eating it just it's just like a warm hug so they're my favorites honey bunches um tell me what sort of foods that were like iconic in your childhood i would love to hear and tell me if any of this is relatable or just completely bonkers the things that i was um turning vegan thanks for watching honey bunches and i'll see you in the next video bye